It's fun when you sell out a show and they give you a present. I have like cutting boards that like I got from one venue because I love cheese boards. Hey, what up? I'm Black Bear and usually I'm on tour playing shows in the studio making music. But today Esquire asked me to go through my Raph Simmons collection. I got archive pieces from 98 all the way to today. So let's go through it. Right now we're in my office at my home. As you can see the Big B logo. I have a clothing brand that I'm starting called Knife Meadows. So here we plan everything for the fashion line. This is my little headquarters. No kids allowed in here. I'm wearing Raph Simmons today because he's the designer now for Prada. So I'm wearing all Prada, Raph Simmons tee. Love Raph Simmons. This is my newest piece that I got of Raph Simmons. It says everything on the front and then it has all these cool sick patches on the back. One of which is a bow house, ball house. I don't know how you say ball house, the rock band patch, which is really cool. It's tattered, it's beautiful, it fits amazing. I call this the trio. I have the same hoodie in maroon, toothpaste green, and I guess this would be charcoal black. This is my favorite hoodie, especially this one. I've played shows in this one. Virginia Creeper is 03. Raph Simmons in, in 2003 was insane. Probably his best year. I'm going to show you a lot of 2003. One other thing I have multiples of is the consumed shirt. I absolutely love the print with the Canon logo, all the different logos and everything like that. I think it's beautiful. I have a double of it and then I have it in red and then I also have it in a tank. I absolutely love this print. I actually have doubles of the shirt I'm wearing in black because I love it. Yeah, it's 02. So he was snapping in 02 and 03. This was my first Raph Simmons piece I ever got. There's not even a date on it. It just says Raph Simmons and it says teenage summer camp, Salt Lake. This is a fun one. I wore this, I think it was iHeart Awards. I didn't win that year, but yeah, I wore this. It says, be pure, be vigilant, behave. I just super dig the poetry in Raph Simmons clothing. I have this, you can hardly see the quote, but life is in itself and forever a shipwreck. It's so hard to read. It's about a person drowning, which is really cool. It's just a poem. It just means a lot to me. I have not met Raph Simmons. I need to meet you, man. I'll come to Belgium. I just wanna pick your brain and talk to you and write songs with some of your poems. I actually have a Raph Simmons tattoo right here, if you could see it, Raph Simmons. If Raph just asked me to come and just sit at a Prada show, I would be so happy. I would love to meet you, Raph, but I'm absolutely in love with you. <laughs> This was the first thing I saw of Raph Simmons where I was like, that's a cool print. I want to own that. So I have like doubles. I have this in blue. I couldn't find it today, but I have it somewhere. Here's a piece from 2003. I wore in the At My Worst music video and it actually has a print underneath the hole that's cut, which is so cool. Like they print it on the shirt and then put a shirt over it and you can see the print on the inside. It's so cool. What a tank top. This is the Poltergeist, the original Poltergeist, the runway Poltergeist. This might have been worn on the runway because I had to pay an arm and a leg for it, close to $10,000. And then I got the Poltergeist in this colorway too. I'll never give this up, ever. $10,000 is not like the black palms, you'll never find this. This might be like 6,000, but then my favorite, which I showed you guys before, these go for about 3,000. So you can find these for like a little more affordable than what than the $10,000 pieces. And then I have like one of my favorite hoodies. This was just like $150. This is just a cool Raph Simmons. And it's got scenes from a movie where people are having romance and crying on the phone. I just showed you the black palms. It's some of the hardest to find. I think he did this in 98. That's kind of like when he really started popping off. I have doubles of this one, which is really cool. This is from 2002. Independence, faith, worship, determination, resistance, hope, nature, wanderlust, humility, visibility, organization, light, vigilance, companionship. It's almost like beat poetry. I have a song called Wanderlust, so that sticks out to me a lot. Worship and faith. I was just baptized in Austin. So faith and worship is beautiful to me. I love these words that are on here. I sell clothes all the time. Bear on Depop, you can get my old clothes. And half the proceeds go to Mission Cure. It's a cure for pancreatitis. I have chronic pancreatitis. And yeah, I sell my clothes for charity, so. Luckily, when I got into RAF, my music started making money and I was able to afford it. When I was young, I just wore anything from the thrift store. I would just put safety pins in my band t-shirts from Hot Topic and I wore Trip NYC pants with zippers and stuff like that.
I'm starting a new brand. It's called Knife Meadows. Here, I'll try it on for you. A lot of it's inspired by Raph Simmons and some of what he would do, I guess. So I have this, it's a flannel, but it actually zips, which is really cool. I just am so in love with clothing. I feel the best when I'm in a good fit. I just wanted to make something that other people felt good in as well. That's what it's all about. We do have some jeans. They are baggy, which is cool, because if anybody knows me, I've been wearing really baggy jeans on stage. So I'm putting out my own baggy jean. I definitely wore baggy jeans when I was younger, when I was in my Limp Biscuit phase. I rock some Jinkos. Here's the piece that uh, inspired, I think, my zip up flannel. Raph did a flannel with a zip halfway down. I don't know why there's not more zippers on flannels. It's a major problem. I have doubles of the 2005 Texas pieces. I used to have it in like six different colors, but I sold them because I gained a lot of weight when I got sober. When I wasn't sober, I was really skinny and sick looking, so. Did I show you the Virginia Creepers? It's my favorite crew neck to wear. It fits so well. It's just blank on the front and it's this print on the back. I think it's like a sign that a witch uses, but it's so comfortable and only the real ones know when they see this. Oh, that's Raph Simmons, that's Virginia Creeper. Okay, so over here, I have a couple guitars. You might recognize this one from the Me and Your Ghost video. I played it in like a little bar. It's a beautiful video. The stickers for this guitar were the stickers that the girl has on her face on the single cover of Hot Girl Bummer. And then you might recognize this guitar from Do Re Mi. I smashed it in the video, so it's all smashed up and I just kept it. And this is a Rap Simmons roll of duct tape that I got and it just says, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me on the duct tape. So I put it all over my stuff. This this right here is very top secret shit. I'm working on a new fashion line called Knife Meadows. These are just like ideas. I think we wanna drop this first. We're not sure yet. It was this logo we picked, we liked. The idea behind Knife Meadows is like, you have to kind of walk through life dodging the knives in the meadow. There's a lot of pain in life. There's a lot of things that happen and you're walking through this meadow of knives. I have so many clothes and I took my favorite sleeve from one shirt. I took the length from another shirt, the width from another shirt, the thinness and the material from another shirt, and I made the perfect shirt. It'll be coming out this fall. So I got this plaque for when you pass 1 million subscribers on YouTube. I feel like after Do Re Mi, that got a pretty decent amount of views and then my subscribers went up. 1 billion streams is next. I'll have a plaque right under, no, right above it. And it'll be covered in diamonds. <laughs> Over here, I got a few cool things. Here's a portrait of me by Sage Vaughn. He drew all the members of Maroon 5 and everybody who featured on their last album. I have a song called Echo with them and Sage Vaughn made this and let me keep it, which is really cool. Right here, I have a drink that I did with Vibes. It's a collaboration, Black Bear Hibiscus. So it's blackberry hibiscus flavored. It's got CBD in it. Here's one of my first plaques I ever got, g -E -Z. I produced the first song on it and I featured on a song called Remember You. It actually took a while to go platinum. It's like my albums. I have an album, Digital Drug Lord, that just went platinum. And albums take a long time sometimes to go platinum, but this finally went platinum and it was the first song that I made a beat for, produced. I featured on Ellie Golding, her last album. Worry About Me is the song. There's a video for it too. You could show a little clip. This one is really special to me. This is Linkin Park, One More Light. This album went gold and I hung it up because this was the last album that Chester was a part of before he passed. And so it means a lot to me. I'll try not to cry. I love Chester so much and I miss him. He, like me, had pancreatitis and lived with a lot of pain and so I understand his depression. I sold out House of Blues. Anaheim House of Blues sold out. So they give you a skateboard. I have actually three of these different ones when I sold it out three different times. It's fun when you sell out a show and they give you a present. I have like cutting boards that like I got from one venue because I love cheese boards. This was a sellout. All my shows in Europe were sold out. So over 10,000 tickets sold. Birmingham, Glasgow, Dublin, London, Manchester. Brixton Academy was the most fun for sure. I hope to do two Brixton Academies. This this year in September when I go on tour. Buy tickets now. Okay, you've seen my plaques, you've seen my art, you've seen my broken guitars, my rap collection. Esquire, thank you so much for having me. Next time I will show you my Adventure Time toy collection, maybe. But now it's time to get out, so turn the camera off.